My name's Fee Hailstone and I'm one of the area rangers on the Killerton Estate in Devon. We're currently in one of our wood meadows, but the entire estate makes up 6,400 acres of Devon countryside. It's a rich tapestry of farmland, orchards, parkland and woodland. We're experiencing much wetter and milder winters, storm events and summer and spring droughts. To help our land adapt to the threats that climate change poses, we're undertaking nine projects across the estate this year, and that's all thanks to the Green Recovery Challenge Fund from DEFRA. This winter we'll be planting 70,000 trees across the estate. Four kilometres of new hedgerows, new woodland, areas of wood pasture with grazing animals, protecting our ancient and veteran trees and planting those ancients of the future with 600 trees outside of woodlands as well as working with all of our wonderful farm tenants to make these projects happen. We're also partnering with the Woodland Trust, the Farm and Wildlife Advisory Group and the West Country Rivers Trust. One of the main parts of the funding is restoring the River Colne floodplain. Here's Jo to tell you more about that project. And I'm really, really excited to be part of this project with National Trust, um, which is happening right across the Killerton Estate. But the element that I'm most uh, involved in is the River Calm section and, and the floodplain of the River Calm. And it runs for about three kilometres across the Killerton Estate, um, provides a really important habitat corridor and network through the landscape. Um, but we're working to uh, increase its resilience to some of the challenges that climate change is going to bring. So we're going to be working to create a mosaic of habitats all down the river and that will include some planting along some of the riverbanks to increase some of the shade uh, and the cooling effect that that gives to some of the river water, uh, which is really important when we're going to be having more periods of really hot weather and drought um, that can really impact fish and, and other species. And then we're going to be working in select little areas, taking, doing some little tree works, taking out a few limbs um, to allow the light into specific areas of the riffles and the gravels where the fish come to spawn and other animals come to feed. We'll also be creating structure in the floodplain itself. So we're going to be doing what we call scrapes. So shallow, we're creating some shallow pools within the floodplain area, wider floodplain area. And again, that's creating more structure and more diversity. It's creating additional habitats that don't exist here at the moment. Um, and that will be amazing for amphibians, reptiles, all sorts of insects, birds, plants. At the moment it's fairly flat grassland along the floodplain. Very quickly it's going to change. It's going to have all this structure and these habitats that people are going to be able to experience. We're going to have, see wet woodland, we're going to see standing water, we're going to see all sorts of scrub and wildflower meadows. Um, and that is going to be amazing uh, to, to, to watch it change and we're going to be doing monitoring and surveys, see what impact it has, to look at the amount of carbon that we're storing with the trees and the wetlands um, and to see the different species that might come and, and make this area their home. As a result of this work we'll be able to stabilise soils, store more carbon and water and create more shade for livestock which is vital in our hot summers. This is just the beginning at Killerton. We're thinking really long term.